Well, the Port of Corpus Christi is calling on the public today to join them in a community conversation to talk about a future project happening on Harbor Island in Port Aransas. The board officials will be sharing their plans for the Harbor Island marine debris and pile remnant cleanup. That meeting started a little earlier this evening and our Madeline Salinas joins us live in Port Aransas to tell us what port officials are sharing with the locals. Thanks, y'all. In front of the Port Aransas Community Center, where local businesses and locals from around the area have joined in to hear about what that marine debris removal will entail. I'm here with Mr. Clark Robertson, Chief Operating Officer with the Port of Corpus Christi. Thank you so much for joining me. Sure. Um, so now this isn't the first time the port has held a community conversation. What's the importance of being to hear from the public? Well, I think any time that we're doing a project in somebody else's backyard, uh, that's let's call it away from the inner harbor where, where we probably don't have as many people looking over our shoulder, but here we're trying to do something, you know, just across the waterway from Port Aransas, and so it's important for us to let them know what, what the project outlines look like, what the scope involves, and try to answer any questions that we've, uh, that we've raised by having this project go forward. Absolutely. And so what are you hoping to get out of the meeting from the public? What are you hoping to hear? What kind of feedback are you looking for? Well, we'll see right now. They're probably asking questions. Um, I, you know, I would expect that for residents, they're going to be concerned about you know, if there's construction, any kind of construction activity, they're going to be concerned with lights, noise. Uh, is what is going to happen? Is it, are they still going to be able to boat up and down the area? Is it going to obstruct or you know, take away any ship channel traffic. So we're trying to answer any of those questions about the duration, uh, how many vessels will be out there, kind of the what, what they can expect to see every day. Absolutely. And what kind of remnants and debris uh, will be being taken out of that water? Well, they're all former dock structures. Uh, now, in addition to what people have thrown overboard at some point in, in time, we we do find that there's sometimes a lot of different things uh, sitting at the bottom of the of the mud line. Um, but it will all be usually concrete or wood pilings. It'll be uh, debris associated with those. Uh, and it'll be debris that goes back probably uh, 80 years or so, maybe a little longer, uh, for which nobody ever envisioned exactly what was there at the time. So we've done a very, very thorough job on surveying it uh, this time around. And so we're very confident about what the, what the, the uh, scope of the project looks like. And we're very confident in how we're going to tag and mark all of the debris that comes up. Absolutely. And the next step? Well, we're going to be mobilizing. Contractor TNT will be mobilizing uh, on the 16th. We expect the project to run through the middle of May in 2024. Uh, they'll be working, generally speaking, uh, seven days a week during daylight hours. And, um, you know, we're hoping for good results. They're a very well-known global kind of salvage company. So we expect a, a good project. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again for joining me, guys. Guys, that was Clark Robertson, Chief Operating Officer for the Port of Corpus Christi. Reporting live from Port Aransas, Madeline Salinas, 3 News. Very nice. All right, thank you, Madeline, for that report.